What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a look at the various reporting tools available in the Appraisals app. Reporting is important because these tools provide valuable insights, helping you monitor appraisal progress, stay on top of scheduled reviews, and assess how employee skills evolve over time. So follow me as I dive into appraisal reporting. Okay, here I am on my Appraisals app dashboard. Don't worry, only managers can see this. Because I have the appropriate access rights, I have access to the reporting menu here at the top. If I click on reporting and then followed by appraisal analysis, I can view all of the completed appraisals. This report groups appraisals first by month and then the department. In this case, I can only see appraisals from October and February. This is because our office is relatively new and our employees were recently hired and appraisals were only conducted during those months. We had a major hiring push last February, which is why there are so many appraisals for this February. Hovering over any colored bar gives me the count for that department. I can see that we did five appraisals for our carpentry department this month. You can also analyze appraisal status too to track the progress. I can view the data differently and see what the status of these appraisals are. And to do that, I'm just going to clear out the default grouping here in the search bar. Click this drop down menu and in the group by column, we're going to select status. Now I can see how many appraisals were canceled, completed, are about to start, and that have been sent out. I can also see the details of any of these columns by clicking on it. So let's see whose appraisals need to start. Okay, all of these people's appraisals need to get going. I'll be sure to work on these right away. Now let's take a look at another report. At the top, we're gonna to click on reporting once again, but this time click on skills evolution. So this report tracks how employee skills improve over time with each appraisal. This only shows me skills from completed appraisals, which is why some employees aren't quite here yet. So let's take a look at Doris Cole. And I can see she had some changes in carpentry, languages, as well as soft skills. What a well-rounded employee. If I click into a category, I can expand it to see exactly what skills changed. Skills appearing in green mean an increase in skill level from the previous appraisal. Way to go, Doris. I can see you're now an expert in shaping and carving as well as dovetail joinery. If I wanna just take a peek at how my employees are doing, I can clear out the default filter at the top and instead hit the drop down once again. And in the group by section, we're gonna click on evolution. And here, if I close these out really quick, I can see all the skills that have declined, improved, were just added, as well as what remained the same. If I click into the declined here, this report tells me that Ronnie needs some more support. Looks like some of his soft skills have declined. Ronnie is also our manufacturing manager, so I'll talk with our HR manager to help him improve his management skills. And then if I click on improvement, I can see that Abigail, as well as Doris, are doing great with lots of skill improvements. Keep up the good work, ladies. And below that, we also have the skills that have just been added, as well as the skills that have remained the same. Once we have more appraisals completed, I can check back here and make sure that our employees are on track for success. And that's it for this tutorial. We learned how to use the reporting features in the Appraisals app to get a better understanding of where our employees are in terms of their skills. And we can also see if our appraisals are being done on time. Keep up the good work and I'll see you in the next video.